For this problem, we are to solve for the resultant of the concurrent forces. We have 10 newtons going down. We have 15 going down. That is 20 acting downward to your left at an angle of 62 degrees. We have 7 newtons going up. That is 12 newtons going up. So, the distance is 1.1 meter. Uh, from here to this point is 1 meter. That's 1.3. That's 1.2 meters. So, if we're going to get the resultant of all those forces, uh, the forces, uh, vertical force that we have here, will be um, equivalent to so assuming that uh, 10 is positive uh, these are positive and those are negative so you have 10 plus 15 my uh, plus uh, 20 sine 62 minus 7 minus 12 and you have a result of uh, uh, 23 point 66 so it is going down so all of this the result is a force going down of 23.66 so this is your point a that's your point a that's your point a and this is our point b that's our point b the result of all those forces is somewhere here okay this is the result which is your f vertical which is equivalent to 23.66 now here you have here an equilibrant also. You have, that is your force vertical. That is we have here an equilibrant, and your equilibrant is equivalent also to twenty three point sixty six. So uh, it is sort of the one that is trying to balance. If this is a load, you are you are able to balance the force here, and it is supposed to be located at a certain distance, uh, certain distance x. And how do we locate the certain distance x? So, since it is trying to balance, since it is trying to balance, uh, which is somewhere here, that is somewhere here, that is for your equilibrium, okay? That is your equilibrium. So, since that is your location of your equilibrium, then um, you have an equation that goes, uh, that goes uh, from this point. You have, uh, assuming that the balancing force is uh, 23.66, so it is in... Uh, equilibrium so you have 23.66 multiplied by x okay here 23 multiplied by x this from here that's your distance x plus plus so you try to follow that all forces going in that direction is equivalent to positive plus 7 you multiply it by a distance 1 so remember we are taking the moments at point a plus we have um, 12 multiplied by 3.3 .3. so the distance from this point to this point is 3.3 .3. minus 15 multiplied by 2 minus 17.66 so that's the vertical component of 20 20 sine of 62 is 17.66 multiplied by 4.5 and it is equivalent to zero because it is in equilibrium. Here you will be able to find the value of x equivalent to 2.65. That is supposed to be the location of the uh, forces all uh, located uh, at between point A to point B. It is located at certain distance 2.65 meters from point A. So here you also have a vertical and uh, you also have a horizontal component which is equivalent to uh, 9.39 uh, 9 that's the horizontal component of 20 so all of them all of these are located somewhere here it is located somewhere here and and dito yung resultant natin and dito yung resultant natin okay that's our resultant so it it appears that uh, it will will appear that all of these forces all of these forces so all of these forces from point a from point a to point b to point and this point a to point b will have a force that way okay a resultant force passing through the the line a b at a distance of 2.65 and this r is actually equivalent to the square root of your vertical forces which is equivalent to uh, this one, 23.66. Uh, 23 it's 23.66 squared plus 
39 squared. So you have a resultant equivalent to 25.45 newtons. And at, it is acting at a certain angle theta. And that certain angle theta is tangent inverse of the vertical component which is 23.66 all over 9.39 and the result is equivalent to 68.35 so to summarize to summarize all of these forces all of these forces are actually acting somewhere at this point along your line AB which is a distance of 2.65 with a resultant of 25.45 so remember uh, the vertical forces of all of this one is 23.66 and the horizontal is 9.39 thank you